Hello YouTube, Animal Man here. Today we're gonna see how to make an other emergency type of candle. This one is my tuna fish candle. So, for this we need a can of tuna fish, and it can't just be any can of tuna fish. It's gotta be tuna fish that comes in oil. This one's vegetable oil, but it also comes in soy, um, and some other kinds of oil. Some of it's sunflower oil too. So you need that, and we need a Q-tip, hammer, and a screwdriver. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to just gently poke a little tiny hole in here. Gotta make sure we don't go through the bottom too, just the top piece. That's all we need. Pull it out. And so now we've accessed the oil inside. We take our Q-tip and we're just gonna bend it, bend it the other way, comes right apart in half, and it just so happens that half of this is the exact height we need, and Q-tips make an awesome wick. So you put this in there, get some of the oil starting to wick up onto that wick, and we can light our candle. There it is. Simple as that. So I tested this out several times and I recorded how long it burned for. I've gotten this to burn for three hours pretty much like clockwork. I did get one three hour and 15 minute burn out of it, which is pretty darn good for a can of tuna fish. And the coolest part about this is, if you're gonna have tuna anyway, you know, just get the tuna with the oil in there. If you've got an emergency candle. And uh, if you have cats, cats love the tuna, especially with the oil in it too. Now, if you wanna only burn this for a little bit, and save the rest for later. You blow it out, no big deal. And if you have these little covers, you can put that right on there, save it for later, or if you don't have it, aluminum foil does the trick. You can either keep this out, or you can put it in the fridge, just like this. And when you want to use it again for some lighting as a candle, just light it back up again, no problem. So I'm gonna open this up. This is one that's burnt all the way down until it wouldn't burn anymore. I'm gonna get rid of this Q-tip. And I'm gonna open this can up. And the tuna should still be good inside here. I'm gonna give my cats some lunch. Oh, they're already, the sharks are circling. Hi, Coda. Yeah, I know. Whoa, everybody's here. It's just a little piece of burnt. Q-tip in there. Okay, it's still good. Still got a little bit of oil in there. And uh, the cats love tuna, and the oil is great for their fur, number one, but also if your cat gets fur balls, this is great for them to, to not get as many fur balls. It lubricates their whole digestive system, and it uh, gives them an easier time getting those, getting those fur balls out. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there's a riot. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where's your brother Tigger? Four out of five are here. I'm right already. I'm right. I'm sorry. I'm s the service here stinks, huh, guys? I'm too slow. Where's your brother? 